Item number SCP-155, Object Class Euclid, Security Level 2. Special Containment Procedures SCP-5155 is to be kept and cared for in the Site-5155 Nature Reserve. Foundation Web Crawler Kappa-82, Gilmore Girl, is programmed to automatically expunge any public records of unusual activity instigated by SCP-5155. Description SCP-5155 refers to an anomaly characterized by the displaced extra-physical presence of the Gilmer family, their suburban Nevada home, and an apparent unrelated 8.6 tons of fresh zucchini. All displaced elements still retain the extra-physical essential qualities that they possessed at the time of displacement on May 15, 1955. However, since displacement, all displaced elements now physically interface with reality, Baseline as a herd of 22 mule deer. The nature of this interface exists in a conceptually fluid state between literal and figurative, and consequently it is difficult to predict when and how SCP-5155 may stray from baseline. Gilmore family consists of parents Wanda, age 29, and Edward, age 33, children Susie, age 6, and Brisbane, age 10, and their pet border collie, Sassafras, age unknown. As of March 13th, 2020, Brisbane is the only member of the family who has indicated full cognizance of the family's displacement or the passage of time. However, all family members recognize the presence of an irregular amount of zucchini. Attempts to interact with the family have been unsuccessful and occasionally traumatic. Each family member's personality has grown less stable over time, a bit to varying degrees. The 22 mule deer through which SCP-5155 physically interacts with baseline possess no apparent bodily autonomy. However, neural imaging suggests that the animals still retain their original extra-physical essences, overlapped with those of SCP-5155 and the ability to feel pain. Despite decades of effort, no method has been found to humanely terminate the animals without endangering the Gilmer family. Observation Log Forward Transcript of footage recorded March 13th, 2020 12.32pm Begin Log Deer 16 lies on its back with limbs overextended beyond the normal range of motion for its species. God, God, Jesus, 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 come from heaven, come from heaven, Jesus, Jesus. Dear 21 throws itself against Dear 9's head, causing Dear 9 to revolve 70 degrees in the opposite direction on an axis parallel to the ground and slightly behind its buttocks. Busy, dearest, will you kindly keep your voice down? Mother is trying to prepare supper. Dear 16's limbs overextend further. A snapping sound is heard. It's lunchtime. I'm trying to resurrect God. How can you hear me from the kitchen if my room is upstairs? Dear 21 abruptly sinks into the ground, disappearing from view. The tip of an ear extrudes from Dear 16's belly moments later. Let's bring Eric to Skilmer. I really don't appreciate your disrespectful attitude. It's hard enough to prepare a hot meal with all these goddamn cucumbers everywhere. Dear 7 and Dear 19 launch upward and out of view. Chrysler Imperial, there they go again. Dear 9 spins another 80 degrees on its aforementioned axis. The head of Dear 21 fully extrudes from the belly of Dear 16. The fur on both animals grows wet with blood along the point where their bodies intersect. You're on cucumber duty, I need my elbow room. Sassafras is heard barking in the distance. They're coming back. Don't make me hurt you. Dear 21 and Dear 19 both sink in the ground. Dear 4 and Dear 15 emerge from the tree line, walking in perfect sync. Dear 15 is suspended directly above Dear 4, who was falling at level with Dear 4's ears. Which one are you? 
and uh, whichever one is closest. Roar! Susie's laughter can be heard. And which one am I? Your cutest coke I'll ever regret. Dear four and dear fourteen lift from the ground and drift away as if carried by a breeze, trembling slightly. The stride and dear fifteen's physical displacement along a vertical axis remain unaffected by this development. God, Jesus, God! Dear one's face emerges from the tree canopy, approximately 4.6 meters tall. How's my little theologian then? Vespin screams. A figure presumed to be Dear 22 travels across the sky six times in rapid succession, always in the same direction. Pop quiz. When humans die, they go to heaven or hell. Dear one's mouth opens. Dear's 16, 9, and 3 slowly rise from its mouth. Sassafras can be heard whimpering in the distance. Where does God go when he dies? Vespin screams. Dears 16, 9, and 3 are engulfed in fire. Dinner's ready, dear. End log.